Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to use the plugin itself. Now this video assumes that you've already set up your Facebook app and that you've set up your cron job. So if you haven't done those, go back to the first video and watch that and set those up first, okay? I should also mention that I'm doing these tutorial videos on a very late beta version of the plugin so there might be some minor differences between what I'm showing you now and what we release in the final plugin but rest assured they will be very minor changes and everything I'm showing you now will be applicable to the final version okay I'll also, also I should also mention that I'm doing this on the pro version of the plugin, these tutorial videos. So if I mention things or you see things that don't appear in your version of the plugin, it's because you need to upgrade to get those features. Okay then, so the first thing you want to do when you're going to use the plugin is you need to find some groups to promote to. Now, in this one, we, uh, on my vegetarian recipe site, we're going to look for some vegetarian groups to promote to. Okay, so search for vegetarian in the search groups part, and you'll see we've got all these different groups. We've got five pages and 247 groups in total. Now, to promote to a group, you first need to be a member. So you need to look through your list and decide which ones you want to promote to. So say I, I, this one looks like a good one for me, vegetarian and vegan recipes. So I'll open up that group. So if I click on the URL and you can see that I'm already a member of this one, but I'll just try and pick one that I'm not a member of. So you can see if we look in this one, okay. So they've got an option here to join the group. So click join group and that'll send a request off to the group admin. And after a day or two, you should be a member of that group. Um, so what I recommend you do is basically you just go down this list, open up a load of groups and fire off a load of applications. Um, so once you've done that, in a day or two, if we go to the My Groups dialog here, you can see all the groups I'm a member of. So if I remove the filter from there, we can see we've got all these different groups in various different niches. I've got some Forex ones, some vegetarian ones, some internet marketing ones. But in this case, I just want to promote my vegetarian recipe site to the vegetarian related groups. So we can filter the groups that I'm a member of in the My Groups section by filtering here. So now we've returned just the vegetarian related groups that I'm a member of. So we've got, what, eight different groups here. Okay, so once we've got a few groups that we want to promote to, and obviously there's nothing stopping you from having hundreds or even thousands of groups in this list, you just gotta fire off those applications so once you've got a few groups showing up in your My Groups section, you can promote to them. And you can promote to any group that shows up in the, your My Groups table. Now, to obviously to do this, we're going to need to create some messages. Uh, we're going to need to create some messages that are going to be auto-posted to these groups. So to do that, we head over to Message Sets. And you can see here, these are my vegetarian message sets, but you can create different ones. So if I mentioned before, do things for 4x, so I could create a new message set for 4x. And then I could select it here. Yeah, but we'll go back to the vegetarian one and I'll show you just how this works. Okay, so depending on what version of the plugin you have, whether it's the basic or the pro upgrade, you're going to have either 10 or 20 different messages here per message set. And the idea of the message set is it lets you divide your messages up into different niches. Um, you know, you can just keep them organized 
and it lets you promote to many different kinds of groups and it lets you promote many different kinds of websites just from with one installation okay so for example if you had three or four different websites you want to promote each in a different niche you create a different message set for each one or each individual message you can you want to put the link that you want to promote you can put the link text you can also put an image a video and the message text okay so for example we'll look at this one so I've got my link here and that's the link of the page I want to promote so in this case it's a recipe on my website um, but this can be any link you want so you could put an affiliate link in here if you want to promote a product um, you know anything really just any URL any full URL with the HTTP included next is the link text and that's just the anchor text that's going to appear for your link in the message you've also can upload an image to appear so this just uses the standard um, WordPress dialog so you can select a file from your computer and upload it here to use on here you can also just enter a URL of an image um, yeah so you don't have to actually upload it you can host it somewhere and stick the URL in there uh, if you wanted to you can also do videos here so just up, up, upload in the same way um, but that's a should also mention that the, the option for the video only appears in the pro version so you'll have to upgrade to get that and then you stick in your message text now this can be either just be plain text so it could just be like some plain text you know type it in as normal here and that would appear as is also with the pro version you can enable spin tax so I've done that here I've enabled spin tax for this message set and you can use spin tax within your message to give you even more variation now I won't go into how spin tax works here I'm sure most of you know already but if you want to find out more I've just googled spin tax there the third one down it's an explanation of how it works uh, if you do have any problems with it um, if you just want to know a bit more you can contact me on the support and I'll be happy to answer your questions okay so the idea with the message sets is that every time a new message is auto posted from this message message set it iterates through these messages and you can see the green box indicates what the currently active message is so say we've got a load of messages scheduled using this mes this vegetarian message set the next one next message to be sent from here will be this one and after that is sent the green box will move on to here meaning that that will be the next message to be sent and then it just iterates through them until it comes to a blank message and once it hits a blank message it just goes back to the top okay so you don't have to fill out the full 20 or 10 messages in each set you can just have as many of you as you want I think that's about it for the message sets um, now I'll show you how to schedule messages okay so once you created a message set or several message sets then head back to your my groups page and find whichever groups you want a message to and then you select them from this list so say I want to schedule messages to be sent to these seven groups I would just select my message set vegetarian and then click message selected and you can see that those messages have been sent to the scheduler they've been queued up I also have the option of selecting all that way or you can just click message all groups and that will message however many results however many groups are returned here so say for example you had hundreds of groups and you wanted to message them all you could just click message all groups and regardless of what's selected down here it would send 
it would schedule a message to be sent to each of the groups that you that you have here so if you had i don't know 300 groups in the vegetarian niche if there's 300 of them here and you clicked message all groups a message would be scheduled for each of those 300 groups okay so if we head over to the scheduler now we can see that those seven groups uh, that i sent to the scheduler before have appeared here so so there's seven of them and you can see they've all been assigned the message set vegetarian and they've been scheduled to post at a certain time now you can change which message set they are used here at any time keep them at vegetarian and you can also change the interval of all the messages in your scheduler here at any time uh, you could have there's nothing to stop you having hundreds or even thousands of different messages queued up here to be sent and to reschedule however many hundreds of messages you have here at any time all you need to do is choose a different interval here so choose one hour and you can see it instantly reschedules them all with an hour's gap between each one. Okay. Now, when selecting an interval, you need to be careful because Facebook doesn't actually say anywhere how often you're allowed to auto post to groups. But if they think you're spamming, they will ban you. And therefore, I recommend you take it easy to begin with. I really would say don't post any more than once every hour to begin with you know at the absolute most and make sure you're posting to a variety of different groups so don't just post to the same group every hour get a good you know dozen groups up there and vary your messages a lot use spin tax if you can you know just basically don't send spammy messages send quality messages that people in the groups would be interested in by all means put your link in there you know but basically you know treat the facebook groups that you're posting to with respect post information up in those groups that users will value and don't post too often and you won't have any problems um, as you build a rep as your app builds a reputation with facebook as you know you post regularly and your messages aren't marked as spams by the group owners as as you post regularly and people don't complain about your messages you'll be able to increase the interval a bit um but just you know take care to begin with go slow at first and you'll be rewarded later on okay so Another thing I'll mention about the scheduler is if you have the pro version, you will see this option here to enable message looping. And what that means is that every time a message is sent from your scheduler, normally it just, you know, as soon as this mess, as soon as the message has been sent at three o'clock to the vegetarians group from the vegetarian message set that will be removed from the scheduler it will go into the history and that's that but if you enable message looping as soon as this message here has been sent at three o'clock it will be removed from the top of the scheduler and then added to the bottom so as soon as this is sent at three three o'clock that will disappear, this entry will disappear. It'll be added at the bottom at, at the time of, well, an extra hour to there, so at 10 o'clock. So a message to the vegetarians group from the vegetarian message set will be sent at three o'clock. And then as soon as it is sent, it will be re-added to the scheduler and it will send a, another message to the vegetarians group with the vegetarian message set at 10 o'clock. Okay, so basically what me this means in practice is that you can 
easily set up infinite messaging. So as things currently stand like this, these eight groups will receive a message from the vegetarian message set once an hour forever. Yeah, you understand? So with message looping enabled, it means you only have to put a few different groups in here. You don't have to queue up hundreds of different ones. You can if you want, it'll still work in the same way. It just means that basically you can set it up and forget and you know it'll just keep on promoting for you. Now be careful with this. I mentioned before you don't want to be sending same messages to the same groups again and again because they will you know they'll get annoyed you'll get in trouble for spamming your app will get banned okay guys so finally we'll just ha have a look at the history and you can see here we've got a posting history of every post we've ever made using the plugin and you can see here i've got 335 different messages that have been sent. You can see what message set was used, which group was posted to, you can see the URL of the group, you can see the time it was sent, and you can see the status of the posted message. Now, hopefully, all you'll ever see in this part here is successfully posted. You know, if you ha have set things up correctly, if your message sets are set up correctly and if you're not posting too much this is all you should ever see and that's all you need to know about it however this status section is very important because in here you will see if Facebook thinks you're posting too much an error will appear here indicating that so if you were to start posting too often uh, if Facebook did think you were being a bit spammy, then it would be indicated in the status of your messages. So I'd recommend at regular periods, just have a look at the posting history or if something's not going right, if messages aren't appearing when you think they should, then check the posting history and see what the status of your recently posted messages is. If Facebook thinks you're being spammy, it'll appear here and you can respond to it. So for if I had a status message here indicating that I was posting too often, the first thing I would do is head over to the scheduler and select a larger posting interval, yeah, and then reschedule. And that should sort things out. If you have other status messages up here, or if you don't understand the status match, you don't understand the status messages that you're getting, then please just contact me at the support desk and I should be able to help you with those.